hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than a normal commentary for you guys, but it's going to be a quick 45 minute chest and back workout. It's going to be more supersetted type of workout and it's going to be more high volume bodybuilding style. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this. If you guys do want to try the workout out, the description um, will have the full workout listed. And um, also just make sure that you guys leave a comment below telling me how you guys did enjoy it, if you did enjoy it, and how it went. Um, so please, uh, like I said, let me know if you do try it out. So getting to the video itself, it's going to be more of a um, helpful and um, informative style video. I'm going to talk to you guys mainly about some tips that I have during the exercises that I'm doing. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this and if you guys do want me to do this over more of my workouts, I can definitely do that um, instead of kind of talking about an actual topic, just kind of talk about the key tips I'm thinking about and the key things that I'm thinking about um, to help activate the muscle in the most effective way. So beginning, um, we started out with dumbbell incline and the main thing I'm focusing on here guys is really shortening the pec at the top. I'm doing 12 to 15 reps for most of these exercises with three sets. So really focusing on tucking my elbows to keep my shoulder in a safe position and keeping the dumbbells slightly on an angle, but really focusing on driving together and shortening the pec fully at the top. Um, that is one thing dumbbells um, you're going to be able to do and you can't do with a straight bar. So focus on bringing the dumbbells together. You can touch them if you want, but really that's going to help engage the pec in the most effective way. I supersetted a dumbbell incline with a seated row and really guys the main focus here is just keep driving your elbows straight back and keeping them tight to your torso as possible. That's really going to help engage the lats in the most effective way. Um, moving on to the next superset, I usually start with whatever body part I didn't start with. So I started with chest and the incline. Now I'm going to start with back and the lat pull down. Um, really focus on using the same uh, movement pattern as you would for a wide grip pull up. Um, really focusing on driving my elbow straight down and keeping thoracic extension, keeping that big chest and really retracting my scapula at the bottom and ensuring that I'm not using um, my biceps or forearms. Um, so I'm having more of a hook grip with wrapping my thumb around the outside instead of wrapping it underneath. So um, moving on to the next um, supersetted exercise, I actually did the lat pull downs with this dip machine and uh, really focusing on just keeping the tension on my triceps and even engaging my chest a little bit, um, 12 to 15 reps there as well. So moving on to the next superset, I did a pec, or excuse me, an isolation, what is it called? I can't even think of the name of it. It's a isolateral bench, so isolateral wide chest I believe it's called and um, really focusing on not allowing the machine to bring my shoulders back farther than they're allowing um, where it caused me some pain. So really just focusing on keeping a good constant tension and driving together at the top. I really enjoyed that exercise specifically because you can shorten the pec fully um, unlike a lot of the chest presses and um, machine presses um, you can't really do that with. Um, I supersetted that with the row you're seeing with an underhand grip. I really enjoy the underhand grip because it really helps me engage my back in a better way sometimes than the overhand. Um, and I do have a lot of problems engaging my back fully so um, you will see me doing different variations just to kind of help engage that in the best way possible. Just finished off the workout with some basic tricep extensions with a V-bar and with a one arm rope curl. Um, with the tricep extensions I'm really just focusing on keeping the constant tension on my triceps and not focusing on too much like snapping it down at the bottom because that's not going to be very good for your elbow joints. I can definitely tell you that. So um, then I just finished with a one arm curl, just focusing on keeping the constant tension on my bicep. A lot of times you'll see people and they'll bring the bicep, uh, excuse me, they'll bring the curl all the way up here. Um, I usually like to stop about here because any farther up, you pretty much are losing that tension like I was saying. Um, and you can still get full range of motion with the constant tension on there. So I always like to keep the constant tension, get that full range of motion, but stop just short of actually bringing it all the way up to touch my forearm to my bicep um, because you do lose that tension, especially um, on like a dumbbell or a straight bar. Um, cable is a little bit different, but um, I still like to focus on that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this, um, this style of video, this um, I guess more of a uh, key tip style of video and something that can help you guys out a little bit more if you are looking for a quick chest and back workout. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did and subscribe to my channel. As you guys do know, I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently. This is my third day in a row uploading, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See you guys soon.
camera just fell. Hopefully it works okay. Whoops. <laughs>